following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello. So here we are again. And uh, this time I am talking about an actual book, not a website necessarily, although there is a website included in this. Um, it's a very good book um, by George, Dr. George Thompson, um, and it is called uh, Verbal Judo, The Gentle Art of Persuasion. And I have, as always, the links here on the screen. They will be in the description below. And let me just do this shameless plug. Uh, here's the book. I got it from our local libraries. I have the link again in the description. Um, it's excellent, it's an easy read, very quick. Uh, it was recommended reading by Dr. Steve Albrecht. Um, really good, I, I highly recommend it. But what I'm gonna do is, for this particular video, is try and do a very short, short encapsulation of information provided in chapter six, which as you can see here on the screen, uh, it's chapter six is titled, 11 Things Never to Say to Anyone and How to Respond if Some Idiot Says Them to You. <laughs> um, I have cited uh, the book and the chapter here, and of course, the links, as I mentioned, are in the description. Now, um, Dr. Thompson calls himself Doc Rhino, and I really like that, so I'm gonna use that uh, as the name is Doc Rhino. It's in his own about the author section of the book, and he has extensive training on uh, de-escalation of confrontations. He taught English in uh, both high schools and universities. He worked as a police officer and now runs his training institute. Doc Rhino's definition of verbal judo is the gentle art of gaining voluntary compliance through empathetic persuasion. And since all library staff members have had to talk to patrons about various issues and uh, with various issues, so about various issues, with various issues, everybody comes to the conversation with certain expectations. And uh, I'm going to try again to link to a video that I had done about making sure that, uh, trying to make sure that you've slept enough, that you're eaten, that you're at, at uh, hopefully your best before you run into uh, uh, confrontations. So it's very useful to know what not to say. And in chapter six, Doc Rhino talks about what not to say and then presents various alternatives. Now he goes into much greater detail about this, but um, I sh did the short, short version here in the uh, table right here. So he has the do not say, and then he suggests different alternatives. Uh, do not say, come here. <laughs> um, an alternative is, could I chat with you for a second? Um, I also remember, for example, <laughs> Uh, Georges St. Pierre, who was a mixed martial arts fighter a few years ago, he actually started working as a bouncer in a nightclub in, uh, in Quebec, and uh, he's French Canadian, and he would actually tell people, he's a mixed martial arts fighter, he could just mop the floor with anybody he wanted, and he would tell people, what, what, I can't, well, I can't hear you over the noise. Here, come, come on, come on outside. Come on outside so we can talk. And that's how he would get them out of clubs. <laughs> I know that's not something we can do in libraries, but um, the could I chat with you for a second, things that will turn a conversation from the you aspect, you're a problem to come and help me. So instead of saying, come here, say, could I chat with you for a second? Instead of saying, you wouldn't understand, you might say, let me try to explain. Um, you wouldn't say, do not say, because those are the rules. You might say, well, this policy was created because. So again, in that way, when you say, well, this policy was created because you're diffusing the situation from the immediate here and now between you and the patron and deflecting it over to a policy that happened because of something else. So it's a great idea. Don't say it's none of your business. Um, you might say something like, I want to honor everyone's privacy, so I can't say much, um, and then reveal only enough for 
uh, general understanding of whatever is going on. Uh, and that, of course, would be uh, situation specific and age appropriate. Instead of saying to someone, what do you want me to do about it? which you can already hear the confrontation in my voice, uh, you might wanna say, well, what's up? Hey, how can we get this sorted out? What's going on? <laughs> and the all-time favorite, my all-time favorite, calm down. Don't say that. Take a deep breath and you might say, what's up? How can we best sort this out? What's going on? Right? If it's something that you've been in the conversation for a bit and things are getting a little heated, just by stopping yourself, I've found by doing this, stopping yourself and taking a deep breath and then going on, it creates a pause in the conversation and what it will also can create is between the your, your two factions, between yourself and someone else or whatnot, um, it can create a mirroring effect. So if you take a deep breath, the other person is likely to take a deep breath too. It's almost contagious. So uh, instead of saying, what's your problem? You might say, how can I help? Uh, instead of saying, you never or you always, again, it's that, that kind of that pointing statement, you, 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 turn again, turn, the conversation to when this happens, I feel this. Or um, if you don't let me know, I can't help. Um, basically you're saying is I wanna help you, help me to help you. I'm not going to say this again. That's probably a lie because you probably are gonna say it again. But again, take a deep breath. You could say, let me explain. Or if you can and you need to, and I talked about this in other videos, you might be able to deflect to a different staff member um, to say, let me get X uh, to help me. So let me go get staff member X to help me out here. Or even you might deflect to time that, you know, well, if you come back, staff member X can help you out, okay? Um, depending again on the situation, these are all very uh, um, fluid, very fluid and, and everything. Instead of saying, I'm doing this for your own good, my goodness, <laughs> um, give, give concrete examples as to how this, whatever's going on, will actually positively affect uh, the person. So uh, how this can be helpful, okay? And instead of saying, why don't you be reasonable, again, the you stays, why don't you be reasonable? Um, you could say, hey, let me see if I understand your position, and then you paraphrase and go on from there. So again, it's very fluid. There's a lot more information, a lot more information in the book itself. Shameless plug for your local libraries. Go check it out. Um, I think it's excellent. Great reading, very quick. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.